The next quiz question type we're going to look at is multiple choice, but where we have multiple answers. So let's go add our new quiz question. Select add a new question, choose multiple choice, select add. Need to put in the name of our quiz. In this case, we're just going to call it this one. It's question three. Remembering that they can be in a different order when we actually use them, but in this case, this is what it's going to look like. Let's go grab our question which is what are the primary building blocks for vector illustrations? Our question status is ready. Our default mark is one. General feedback, we'll leave it how it is. Uh, show standard instructions, we're gonna leave as yes. But, sorry, I skipped the important one. One or multiple answers. We're going to have multiple answers are allowed and have them shuffled and leave it as A, B, C, D is our numbering. Now let's jump down to our answers and this is where having multiple answers allowed is a little bit different. Now in our case, our particular question, and I should actually show you what it looks like because it will be easier for you. Let's have a little look. Our question is, it's multiple choice, multiple, choice, multiple answers. What are the primary building blocks for vector illustrations? So the answers are points, lines, curves, shapes, and photos. So we have five answers, four of them are correct. So let's just get rid of the one that isn't correct, that's photos. So these are the four correct answers. Now because our correct answers have to total 100, we have to divide up the value of each of the correct answers by how many correct ones there are. In this case, four correct, so it will be a value of 25% for each correct question. They have to total to 100. Now the unusual part is that for photos is an incorrect answer, we have to add a value to that if we want it so that if they do choose photos that they don't get a partial correct answer. So to do that we need to set it as minus 100 as the value for answer 5 because it's incorrect. Minus 100 means that if they select three out of the four, they'll get 25 plus 25, they get 75%. But if they also choose photos, that 75% gets taken away and it's minus 25, which basically means the value is zero again. So they can't get a partial value answer for a question, uh, which says it's partially correct, unless you want it to be partially correct, where you can leave photos as a zero value. But if you leave it as a zero value, that means they can choose photos and points, lines, curves, shapes. And in that process, it will leave it as being worth 100% because we haven't taken anything off that 100%. We've just left it with whatever they chose and they'll get 100% if they tick all of them. And we don't want that either. So that's why we do this. So let's go and put each one of these in. Let's have a go. So we'll put points in first. And I might make them capital. And remember it was 25% because there's four correct answers. So we need them to total to be 100. So points, lines, again will be 25%. Curves will be 25%. And choice four is shapes. which will be 25% and choice five, which is photos, which is completely incorrect. And it will be minus 100. If we needed to add more questions to our choices, we could click on blanks for three more choices. So they will open up or add three more options. Our combined feedback already has in your answers correct, partially correct or incorrect. Multiple tries, you can actually have a penalty for an incorrect try between 33% or you can set the percentage of where you want to show that hint. If they get them half right, then you might be able to hint at a couple of the others, but that's up to you. You can add some optional hints in there to sort of help them get them correct if they're allowed multiple tries. All right, let's save changes. Let's have a look. So we can check our quiz by clicking on that little icon over here. Line shapes, photos, curve points. We can just check that we got them all, what the correct ones are. There we go. One, two, three, four. That is correct. 
that's all we had to do. And that's how we add a multiple choice with multiple answers question to our quiz.